Hello, folks. Uh, these are the first ever questions of uh, uh, November 2022 exams with me. <clears throat> so I'm starting this with uh, uh, this uh, OEN session, paper 1, 2, and the question number is uh, 10. This question is concerned with the chapter uh, forces, or uh, I can say even say as a uh, uh, kinematics or even dynamics as well it says a parachutist falls from rest from a balloon so falls from rest from a balloon the variation with the time of the vertical velocity of the parachute stone so this shows the variation of the vertical velocity as you can see from here initially the velocity was zero it rises 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 but ultimately the velocity becomes constant which is the terminal velocity and uh, suddenly we have a decrease in the vertical velocity it means that uh, the parachute should have opened should have opened and here uh, it is again the constant velocity here it means that uh, uh, it is the terminal velocity after opening of the parachute this is the terminal velocity before opening the parachute and this is the terminal velocity after opening the parachute so this shows the graph now we have to identify in which region is the force due to air resistance due to air resistance much greater than the weight of the parachute is so we have to find in which region is the force due to air resistance so let me see this is the opposing force fo let me name it as fo much greater than the weight of the parachute this is fg so now what happens is so if i have the parachute over here if i have the strings over here if i have the person over here this is the person over here like this so the hands are going like this so what happens is the weight of the person is this which is fg and the opposing force is this which is fo fo so now we have the resultant force is equal to is equal to fg minus fo so fo is the opposing force due to air so now we have to compare this air resistance against weight so what i should do is so let me say it, shift it over here so this fo is equal to is equal to fg minus f resistance now f resistance so here what we have is the force resistance uh, depends on uh, the force resistance and uh, the acceleration of the parachutist are proportional so the force resistance here resistance is equal to ma so ma and this a is equal to slope of a is equal to so this is m m is over there into it is the slope of vt graph slope of vt graph so since we are given here the vt graph i am relating it to the slope of vt graph so now so what happens here is here we have some slope some slope here and this slope is uh, positive this slope is positive so since slope is positive f resultant is positive is positive so that's why f is equal to f g minus some 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 positive quantity some positive quantity that means uh, this uh, should be so therefore f o should be less than f g f g in this region in this region in region a so this is for region a now for region b what we have is in region b we have got to uh, the slope is zero the slope is zero slope zero means this is zero this is zero f resultant zero if f resultant is equal to zero then we have f o is equal to f g in region b so this is in region b now in c in c we have got the slope of vt graph is negative so for c for c i have got so for c let us say slope of slope of vt graph is negative graph equal to negative so this means so we have got if this is negative f resultant is negative negative so this is negative so negative into negative will be positive negative into negative will be positive so that's why fg plus something positive will be a greater value which gives us which gives us fo is more than fg so in the number c we have got fo more than fg in d also it's the same case as this the FO will be equal to FG because of this terminal velocity here. So the answer to this question lies in choice number C.